I'm here with the lovely Tom Hanks. Yes, <laughs> Tom Hanks doppelganger. Look okay, alike. explain this. I saw it on your Twitter, but explain this, because I thought it was one of the funniest things I've ever seen in my life. So those celebrity face swap apps, I guess you get, who do you look like? Your celebrity, celebrity. Like. And I've, you know, I've got a few different ones before and I wasn't too sure who I was going to get. But at this time round, <laughs> the app that I downloaded for $4.99 told me that I looked like Tom Hanks. So... Listen, he's a phenomenal actor. He is. <laughs> and by the way, in the picture, I kind of did. Like, I get where they were going with that. Like, the placement of my face and... So we're happy to awesome. have you in here. Thank you. I'm so happy to be here. I know your co-stars have been in here. Daniel was yes. in here. They're yeah. amazing. Yeah. And I love Joseph, them. Joseph was in here. Mm -hmm. And um, we're just going to kick things off with something really fun. Okay. Joseph taught me how to do a vampire face. Okay. And he really excelled because I really embraced it. Open your mouth really wide. You have to imagine you have the fangs there and then just like kind of squint up your eyes and think furious. <sighs> That's pretty good. <laughs> that was pretty good. We can't let him, you know, outdo you. So I. Oh, you want my vampire face? Oh, well, yeah, we could do that first. Yeah, let's do it. Okay. So there's an art to it. And it's all about scrunching the nose region as I well. He never taught me this. He taught so, me it was all about the bite. This is my vampire face, okay? <laughs> oh my gosh! <laughs> I like the cat sound as well. I don't know why that comes out. Okay, but aside from the vampire face, I know mm -hmm. um, you have some talents that have been spoken about but never displayed. I don't know if you can call them talents. <laughs> One of them is juggling. So we have the lovely Gavi. <sighs> that's gonna bring oh, in. So formal. All right. Well, we are at the Four Seasons Hotel, so um, okay. We am have I juggling apples. sitting down? No, I'm no, no, no. You stand oh, up. I am. You okay. Do whatever you have to do. With, am I oh, safe sitting here? Am I good with my mic? Shall I shove it in my sure. butt right here? This is a All pro. Right. This is somebody who knows sound and knows. Let's do this. <laughs> okay. Everyone, turn away. I don't want the pressure. Okay, not no, looking. I'm, how do I go where I can? And that, that is it. it. <laughs> I got a few. Okay, so that, and yep. then you have a whistle. I do. You have a special, it's what very it? loud. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what was better. That's from Cat Cole. Joseph, you've been outdone. He just did the vampire yes. face. So this show is sort of like, more episodes are starting to air, people are, it's back, and yes. everybody's thrilled yes. that it's back. Yes. Um, flashback, there's a flash, there's some flashback things happening. Yeah. We do nurse. a lot of flashbacks. Yes. <laughs> I love that you get to do all these fantastic it's so costumes. Fun. Oh and my you gosh. Get to you know, that was the 20s, the 1919 movie flashback to is a really great time period because it's all loose clothing and it's like flappery. It's not like the corsets you that you. It's not. When we <laughs> flash done. back to, to the early days, the uh, when we first settled in New Orleans, those are unbearable. They're so right. tight and, you know, they look gorgeous, but I will take the 1920s any day. The 1920s day. sexy mm -hmm. nurse. Yep. Okay, so since you do have so many flashbacks mm -hmm. on the show, we want to play a flashback game with you. Let's play a flashback game. Um, we want to flashback to your 12-year-old self. My 12-year-old self. A little tidbit. Funnily enough, because we started with a Tom Hanks story, was also mistaken for a man. <laughs> many really? times. I had really short hair. And uh, it, for some reason, I had this friend called Marjorie, and her mom bought her clothes at the boys' section of Target. So I decided that I was going to do that, and I had really short hair, and I wore Hawaiian shirts and board shorts. And well, you're an Aussie girl. That's not so. Well, you know. <laughs> maybe an Aussie boy would wear those things. Uh, and I looked like a little dude running around, and I was mistaken many times. Can I take your plate, sir? You know, slow down. He's running too fast. Now, were you the tomboy that you didn't care, or were you, did you take offense to it? I, I pretended that I didn't care, but what? I definitely did. Okay, so which act, um, I want to ask you about your sort of dream guest actors on the show. Ooh. One to play a witch, one to play a dream vampire, and one werewolf. Hmm. One werewolf. Chris Hemsworth for the werewolf. Ooh. Take that. Good choice. Yeah. Fellow Aussie. Fellow Aussie. Yeah. That's my werewolf. And then witch. Um, witch. <clears throat> Ooh. Who'd make a good witch? Let's do Kerry Washington from Scandal. I love her, I'm obsessed with her right now. I feel like she'd- Are you a gladiator? Yeah, am I ever. Me too. Gladiator parties. Yeah. Do you really? <laughs> I'm obsessed with Scandal. It's the greatest show ever, so yeah. Okay, so that was The Witch. That Wait, was, was The Witch. And Vampire. Yep, vampire. Whew. <clears throat> Brian Cranston can be my oh, he vampire. Oh, great vampire. vampire. And he's like not the Like the, he's the master vampire. He's not doing Breaking Bad anymore. So I know, he's totally available. 
So there's the dream. <laughs> there's writers. Make it happen. There's Did that work? There's the dream team. No, that's really good. All right. Um, what scene, do you have a scene, either from the Vampire Diaries or shooting the originals, that you felt most like a badass? Because she's, oh, she, Rebecca, there's Rebecca's, so many. It's she, fun. Yeah. I mean, she's not a wallflower by any sense I, of the imagination. Yeah. I mean, I get to do a lot of stunt work with, you know, throwing six foot six men around. They throw themselves. I pretend I'm throwing them. But I actually had an experience once where I was working with a stunt actor and I had to hit him with a crowbar and obviously it was a rubber crowbar but it still had a, a steel pole in the middle and I was very nervous and, and the director came up to me and said Claire you're just not selling it you look like you're scared to hit this guy so just really go for it I'm like I'm, I can't John I just I'm worried I, I'm not great with distance judgment I think I'm gonna hit him he said you're not he's a professional he's gonna get out of the way I go, okay fine Next minute, smack right in the face. The stunt guy <laughs> with this crowbar. <laughs> he didn't move. He, had a, he didn't move. He had a giant egg on his head. And after that, I think uh, I realized that I probably wasn't quite as badass as I thought, and I should leave it to the pros. So I knew you, were just, you just went home for the I holidays. Did. And mm -hmm. what I thought was really cool was on your Twitter and on your Instagram, um, you put up pictures, Sydney Harbour Bridge, mm -hmm. koala bears. I'm yep. like, but she's from Australia. Do Australians really do that? Totally. Or is that I was a proper tourist. You were a proper tourist. Uh -huh. I went to, to Sydney. So I'm from Brisbane and I went yeah. to Sydney with my whole family for the first time. We'd never spent time there all together. So we decided we were going to do all the touristy things and go to Bondi Beach and ride on the ferry and we climbed the Harbour Bridge and went to the Opera House and we pet the koalas and the kangaroos and we went for it. This was great. Awesome. Thanks. <laughs>